Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I have another quilling project that I'm working on as uh, there are lots of quilling projects that I'm working on. But I thought I would share this one with you because this is, this is going to be, I think, kind of a small one. Not too complicated either. So I have the board here, but it's only here because I need to lay things on it. I've already started, so let me show you how to get how I'm going to get started. I'm taking two of the Quill Creations. I think these are 17 inches. And this is the one quarter inch um, paper. Tear off the ends. I'm going to take. I had I ordered this off of Amazon. It's an extra long slotted tool. Um, I really like this one. I, I don't mind the smaller ones, the shorter. I don't mind like these. These are fine. But for some reason, I've grown attached to this long one. So I'm going to use this one. And i got to remember, you need to look for the right side and the wrong side of the paper. And if I had better lighting in here, that would help. <laughs> All right, so I think this is the right side, although one can never be sure. Yeah, I think it is. All right, so it goes into the slot. And I'm not measuring these things. Well, it, the theory is it goes in the slot. <laughs> I can't get it in there before I turn the camera on. It was doing just fine. Phooey. <laughs> okay, there it is. So I'm rolling it away from me. And I'm putting my finger on the end. And just rolling it. Now you could use one of the um, curling buddies. The plastic piece where you stick the needle through it. But... I think this will be just fine. Almost to the end. I flip it over, put a little glue on the end, and I'm going to start a second piece. And I have to remember to look for the wrong side of the paper because that's what's going to be on the inside of the circle. This is the wrong side and the right side. Oh my goodness, the lighting in here is horrible. And I have like five lights on. And I'm having to hold it up so I can see what I'm doing. This is really bad. Okay, I think this is the wrong side here. We're going to take a chance. And I'm just going to mash it on there and make sure it's lined up. Then I'm going to roll over that and mash it down and then continue rolling the paper. This will not be uncoiled into any of these little spaces here or with a ruler. I just know that two of these approximately the same length is what I need to make one half of what it is I'm making. Okay, so I'm going to take it off. Remember, I like to roll it flat to make sure there's no ridges that stick up. I'm going to turn it back over. Okay, so I'm going to do the leaves. Let me move this stuff out of the way. I was trying a couple of things off camera not to make this long. I made a leaf with the um, quilling comb and I don't like how skinny it is. I, don't, I just don't like the way the look is and it's too large for the lemon. So I went with um, a half a piece of the strip and I rolled just rolled it like I did the, um, the beginnings of the lemons. Uh, let's see. I don't want to put that glue on there yet. What am I doing? And I don't have the other good folding. I, I don't have the other surface. I, the words escape me right now. I'm sorry. Um, so I'm just going to let this uncoil inside here. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a little glue on the end. And hold it. And then I'm going to pinch it. So I think this is a lot better leaf. Oh, where did you do the other one? A lot better leaf for the lemons than this big skinny one because we had lemon trees on our next to where we lived in base housing in California, and no lemon leaf I ever saw looked skinny like that. They were more fat. So I think that's what I'm going to do for this. Is I'm I'm just going to do the what they call this a marquee and leave it like that, and then glue it. onto the lemons 
for the for the top leaf of the lemon. But first, I need to find a stem. So let's see. Do I have any brown out? No. Let me find some brown quilling paper. Okay, I had to go digging in my container for brown. It's not a color I use often when I do quilling, so I need to find some. All right, so I'm gonna take this, fold it in half, rip it, take the two halves, rip, rip these guys, and I'm gonna take one of these and do it again. I don't, I think this is too small, but let's give it a try. All right, so I want to make a stem on the lemon so that I can glue the leaves onto the stem. Okay, is this the right side? This is the right side, right here. So I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna do this trick that I saw the other day. I, I'm not used to doing it this way, but I thought it was easier. If I can just get the paper on there. All right, so I need a pointy thing, like a, like a uh, pyramid. So you take the tool, you roll it a couple times around to make sure you have a good foundation, and you start rolling it, and as you roll it, you're rolling it on itself down the tool. And when you stop, you just roll it on itself, and it makes like this little tiny pointy piece. Whoops. I need for it to roll it on itself. Now you have to be careful when you pull this off because the only thing that's hanging on, the holding this thing on, is that little slit of paper right there. So you need to do it gingerly, otherwise you're going to take that piece of paper and pull it right back through where you started, and that does you absolutely no good. I'll squirt a little dab of glue in there. Where's my other tool? This is the one. I'm going to take it in there and I'm going to swirl it around with the tool. Then I'm going to take some glue and I'm going to put it over one of the ends here, the lemon. And I'm going to put, the, I think this is too large, so I'm going to take it and I'm going to squash it down. I think it's too large. There we go. I think the amount of paper I use is fine, but I think the brown part is too large. So I'm going to start scooting the paper, and yes, it's still wet, so I'm able to do that. Luckily, it hasn't dried, so I just want it to be more of a nub than a pyramid. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Where's the glue end? Oh, that's dry, so it must have been this end. Okay, so let's try the glue on here again. And then we'll do this little tiny piece. Like I said, tweezers come in handy doing this stuff. I don't know how long he's going to stay there. I hope he stays there a long time. But i got to let this dry before I can attach the leaves because the leaves are going to have to be glued to either side of the stem. And the stem's got to be good and strong sturdily glued onto the lemon itself. See, it's already coming off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take something flat. I'll just, well, I can just tap it. Because I think if I tap down the end of this, it'll make it a lot easier for that little cone thing to sit on the end. Yeah. And that'll be our little secret that I mashed down the end. <laughs> okay, so now he's got to dry. I think I'll probably leave him overnight because it's a little sketchy trying to keep him on there while I'm sitting here talking to you. After he dries overnight, then I will make, well, I could do a second one. I'll go ahead and do a second leaf. So a leaf will go here, and then a leaf will be on, on the either side. So I'm going to put him in the bowl. After I unstick my elbow here, I'm going to put him in the bowl and prop him up. Whoop, maybe not. <laughs> Try to get him to sit upright. Oh. 
I don't think that's going to work, but it'll be good enough. You can sit in the bowl overnight. Yay! Let me make another leaf if I can find some green. Oh, yep, here we go. Is it the same color? Yes, it is. Very good. So, I'll take this, fold it, rip it, fold it again, and then rip it again. So it gives me four pieces. So that'll make plenty of leaves for the ones I've got started. I can show you on the, the, short, the short nubby one tool that it works just as well as the long skinny one, but for some reason, like I said, I've got fascinated with the long one. There we go. We are in and rolling. And then I'm gonna let this uncoil inside this. And if I roll it properly, it will really unfurl, which it did. So I'm gonna pick it out. Find the end, which is right here. Give us some glue. I don't think it's on the end. Just smooth it out a little bit. And there we go. And then I'm going to pinch it so it makes the shape, which is about the same shape as the other one. There we go. And then in the morning, I will finish the video where I'll glue the leaves onto the, the other remaining lemons. I'll get them prepped and ready to go. And then I'll show you how to glue the leaves on. And that will be done. I'll be back in the morning. Okay, it's the next morning. Uh, it is 20 till eight. And it's kind of dreary looking, <clears throat> excuse me, outside this morning, so I'm not really sure what kind of weather we're supposed to have, but from what I hear, it will be like being on the sun. <laughs> All right, so I think where I left off was I said I would go ahead and put the stems on the, um, on the lemons. So I, ha I made three, and then here's their little stems, little brown parts. These were quick and easy to make. And all of them have been wrapped in the middle so that you can't really see the seam. And then I made all their little leaves. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attempt to put the leaves on. Let's see, where is the seam? Seam, 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 seam. Okay, I think that's it right there. Sometimes you can feel them with your fingers if you can't see it. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a frog in my throat this morning. I woke up with a wicked headache and a frog. So I have a feeling the weather is part of it. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to take this. I'm only putting it on the bottom half of this because, you know, I don't have a lot of stem to work with. So I'm going to push this up against the stem and see how that works. I would like the leaves to point more outward, but I don't think they'll stay that way. All right, so there's stem number one, <clears throat> which is kind of shaky looking. Let's see, I, there you go. Poor little thing, it's hanging on by a thread. A gluey thread, nevertheless. All right, so we got that one. Not really sure where to put the second one. I think it doesn't need to be. <clears throat> yeah, the only way I can do that is this way, or I could put it down, or just give it one leaf. All right, let me sit this in the bowl. That way it can kind of lean up again. Whoa! Kind of lean against it. Nope, maybe that's a bad idea. And it was a bad idea. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> All right, so I confess I've only had one cup of coffee. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to stick it here. 
try again. If I lay it down flat, maybe that would be, there we go. Maybe that'll be a little more helpful if it kind of gets support there. Let's try another one and hope it goes better. <laughs> right, I'm looking for the seam, feeling for the seam, because I can't, oh, there it is right there. So we're gonna glue, the seam is right here. So I wanna glue on this part down so it'll be up against the stem so you can't see this, the seam. All the way the leaves keep falling off though, that might, <laughs> I might have made a strategic error here. All right, there we go. Looks very interesting, but I really would like the leaf to go off to the side like that, but I don't think I can because I'm working with a very small area here. You know, if this was, you know, a larger size thing, I think that the surface area to glue the leaf on would be much better. All right, there you go, bud. Let's see. Let's prop you up here and see if you fare well. Okay, and then number three. <clears throat> kind of reminds me of the stinger on a bee. <laughs> All right, so maybe if I, no, let's not get, let's not get creative. <laughs> when I get creative, it gets messy. Okay, where's the seam? Is that it? Nope. It's at the bottom, right? No, it's not. Where is it? There it is right there. Oh, I did such a good job gluing it. Here it is. All right, so this will be the part I glue. I wish I could get the leaves to go out like that. Maybe, uh, no, <laughs> not gonna work. Okay, that was wishful thinking on my part. And we're gonna sit this guy right here and let him dry and I'll be back when I get on leaf number two. I think the glue, and I left him right there. I think the glue might be, oh, and it's off center, fooey. <laughs> That's what I get for getting up early and doing a video. Can I do a one up and one down? <gasps> Let's try one up, one down. And if it doesn't work, I'll take it off. I'll oh, put it right here. Where's the seam? Seam, seam, seam. Come on. Oh my goodness, I can't see it. Okay, well, meh. Let's see if we can do one up, one down. Maybe I should have done two down. Oh, there's an idea. So there we, there we have it with the little lemon. All right, this is not going to work on the edge. So let's see. Um, what do I want to do here? I don't want them both up because it, I don't, it doesn't look right to me. It looks like a bee's rear end. <laughs> okay, maybe we'll do up one up and one down. Can we do two on the same side? Let's see. I think it's more interesting if they're not all the same, but on the other hand, Okay, so let's do it this way. We're not gonna glue on the seam this time. We're gonna glue on the decorated part. I mean the circles. Or not. <laughs> let's turn it around sideways here. E ah. All right, so that so you can see through this one and you can also see through this one and it's glued to the back of the stem all right so i'm gonna lay that flat down and i need to make another leaf because i miscounted let's do this one in half rip it if i can get my fingers to work and give it a quick little swirl. 
Oh, is that the right side? Oh, thank goodness it was. And then unfurl. You can let them just go on their own. Oh, that's going to be a tiny, tiny leaf because it was only a quarter or an eighth of a strip. So the uncoiling part is very short, very small. Where's the end? There we go. I picked it up on the wrong side. Here we go. A little bit of glue. Yeah, come on. Come on. There we go. <clears throat> and then mash it. This is going to be itty bitty. So I think because it was so small, it was an eighth of a strip. Let me put this pin in here. My glue is going to dry up and clog. See, it's already starting to get thick and clog. <clears throat> Let's see, where are we going to put this one? I really like it kind of off to the side. I want them to all kind of look a little different. Maybe, can I lay this one on? Yes, I can. Let's do on this side. I'm not a lefty, so we'll see how this goes. doesn't go well if the glue doesn't come out. This is why you put your pen in it right away so it doesn't plug up the spout. Uh, yesterday, a couple days ago, I had to put it under hot water. I oh, forget it. Um, I had to put it under hot water because I couldn't get it to... What was I going to do? Jesus. I don't know. That looks terrible. Okay, so... Let's try it this way. Come on. Yeah. All right. So they all look a little bit different. Let me put this pen in here before I forget, or this is, I'm going to have to put this under hot water again. <coughs> okay, so uh, let's see. What do I want to do with this? I think maybe I want to use this bowl as a bowl of miscellaneous fruit for the table. I'm not sure, do I want to fill it up with a bunch of lemons or do I want to do a sorted fruit? Not really sure. But once these get dry, I'll put them in the bowl so you can see what it looks like. Okay, I have finished my bowl of lemons. Although, it looks a little skimpy might have to make some more. So I think there's five in here. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe I need a sixth one to balance it out, like stick it right, oh, sorry, stick it right there. But there's the bowl of lemons. Now, I'm not sure if they look better here or if they look better in a wooden crate. Let me take these out gingerly because some of them are still a little wet. <gasps> Whoops. Well, that wasn't ginger uh, in any way, shape, or form. I might have to put like paper in it or Excelsior, which of course I don't have any of. I don't think, well, let's forget ginger. We're past that point now. So <laughs> we're just throwing that right out the window. All right. Uh, tweezers, tweezers. Let's see if we can pick up this one in the bottom and sit it upright. There we go. No? Okay, fine. You don't want to sit up? No problem. See, now if I put them in the crate like this, I'm going to need more lemons. I probably need two more. Yeah, one, two. So I could put them in a crate, but I might have to take some... The word escapes me. Floral foam. A very thin layer, about half, half the width half the height width, half the height of this, and then put the Excelsior in and then set the um, lemons on top of that. I, that might that might be it. This is none of this is scale to whatever. Um, I'm just making stuff because it makes me happy. <laughs> that's about all I'm doing. Okay, so that's it for the little lemons, and I will see you guys in the next video. Not sure if it'll be quilling, but I will see you in the next video.
Bye-bye.